I think that, you know, being in this industry and being on a on a show like Power, I feel like the powers, the scandals, the the empire, like we're just the start of it. Like we're the ones to break that door. I mean, you have Cosby show and everything, you know, but I'm talking about like in, in this time and the the problems in, in, in 2015, 16, 17, like in this time period, we're the first ones to do it. So now the shows that are gonna follow us, it's gonna be a little bit more easy and people are gonna be paying more attention. Even power, like, you know, being not part of the Emmys at all. When, you know, if you ask anybody, what do you watch, what's your favorite show? It's us. It's showing that it's getting close, but we're not there. But the show that might come after us may have it easier because they saw the success of power and the empires and all those things. So it's kind of like, you know, it kind of feels like we're pioneering it a little bit with like, and so also scandal and how to get away with murder, like stuff like that. Like we're kind of pioneering it when then what comes next? I mean, it should be hopefully evolve, but we're the trendsetters kind of right now. I think with power, we just continue. We just got to continue proving ourselves to get the love. We just got to be consistent and continue to be consistent. I feel like after season four, they'll get it. I mean, in terms of, you know, getting awards like the Emmys and all that, I think, you know, we just got to consistently just keep putting in that work, you know. Again, certain things take time. You know, we didn't have a big budget in terms of marketing. We didn't have these things. It's really, we are the people's champ. Now the industry's paying attention. Like, what's this little show called Power? I keep hearing about it. It's starting to happen. So in due time, I feel like, you know, all we can worry about is just doing our job and, and, and being consistent. So I think season four will definitely, you know, make a lot of people turn their heads. Netflix and even the Stars app and things like that, I think it just makes entertainment just inst like uh, instant, you know? I think it's dope, man. Like Power, the Luke Cages, and even the Black Panthers and, and um, the movies like that, like coming out, like again, is setting the bar. Even having my boy John Boyega in Star Wars, like being a black, you know, uh, Jedi. Things like that is, changing the game and we're here to just basically break that door down and we're doing it and we're being recognized for it but in terms of like stars app and stuff like that that's, that's ill man like you know you're able to consume you know dope shit like instant which is fly i definitely see myself getting into directing and producing um i'm actually writing tv shows now you know um i'm also i just directed my last music video just to see how that whole world is and you know and just being comfortable behind the lens and so I directed my on um, with, with uh, Mo Shines, a uh, director named Mo Shines. I directed my Moving On video, and I wanted to take the story. I created the story as well. I wanted to create like a Bonnie and Clyde type of thing, and um, it came out really dope. Man, he taught me a lot too, just like in terms of shots and and terminologies and stuff. Because when I'm acting um, on Power. I'm so focused on doing what I gotta do as an actor that I'm not really paying attention to what's happening. So now just sitting back and watching, you know, like a mini movie and saying, oh, okay, I get that. I want to try this look and da 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 da. You can catch a bug and, and, and really want to do it. So and it's interesting, man. It was fun. And um, yeah, moving on, go check it out. And um, yeah, I think that's really, you know, where the money is too. And just being a part of something where you get residual checks, shit, I, I want those too. I want, you know, I want more of them. So. Um, I think it's I think it's really cool uh, to to be a creative to create something an idea and then see it come to life. So definitely want to get more into writing and directing and producing. The religious side, the spiritual side of the community, to get back violent and not guns or fighting, but violent and forceful. Take back with 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 some sort of force and not say, oh, God, God loves you although your kid is dead. You know, being in a, in a studio with the interns, I think what I love most is just, it's just fun. You know, it's just energy. It doesn't feel like work. It doesn't feel like we clocking in. It feel like we going out there to party. Then we get to go to the club and party to the song we made in the studio. He works a lot, you know, he kind of like lives in the studio. From what I could tell, they had mattresses and stuff in there. It was easy for him because he's just on the mic, la 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 la. But with me, like I was really apprehensive and kind of like nervous a little bit because it was like, damn, like it's like a very important job interview. You know, you can't really fuck up at all. You know, like it's like, damn, like this is like my rap nigga job interview. <laughs> Went to this party, walking around, talking to people, having a few drinks or whatever, playing air hockey. And then she comes over there and she's playing air hockey with us, just like normal chill.